Hi, my name is Linda Walker. I am an ADHD coach. I work with adults with attention deficit disorder and I am the creator of the Maximum Productivity Makeover and Achieve, the natural system to take control of your life and reach your full potential. My clients come to me uh, with a very common problem and that is they struggle with time management. Now one of the things I, I like to get off the table right away is I don't believe that you can manage time. You know, if you could manage time, you could store it, you could borrow it, you can, although a lot of us think we can, uh, you'd be able to trade it, um, you know, save it for a rainy day and so on, but we can't do that. All we could do is really control the activities that we choose to do during the time that we're given. Time management is such a common problem among ADHDers that many of you have already taken all kinds of training on time management. You've tried Franklin Covey, you've tried Daytimer, you've tried whatever system there is out there. And somebody in your, maybe even somebody in your family uh, or a friend sat down with you and showed them their system because they're super organized. And while it might have worked for you for a short term, it's not working for you anymore. Now, it worked for you short term because ADHDers are interest-based performers. What that means is you do really well. Your, your brain ignites when you're faced with trying something that is interesting, that is new, that intrigues you. For some people, competition could be enough to get you going. But unfortunately, when a task is, becomes boring or tedious, you end up procrastinating it. You know, you use urgency and, and by using urgency, you wait till the last minute, gun to the head, and, uh, and then it's the adrenaline that takes over. And you can't live like that for a long time. It's actually quite, quite bad for your health. Plus, of course, it, it drives everybody around you crazy. The problem that I've decided to uh, devote a series of uh, 10 videos on time management issues that ADHDers face, you know, the struggles that you face, and how to overcome uh, some of them. Of course, I can't give you a full time management program, but certainly uh, it could help you with strategies, using strategies that are more ADD friendly. So in this first video, I'm going to talk to you about a major, major problem, that massive to-do list. Now, some of you probably don't have a list. You've got a whole bunch of little post-its all over the place. And unfortunately, they, some of them eventually fall off and, and you lose those, th that information. You may be someone who does collect um, a to-do list. And unfortunately, it's not just a to-do list. It's become a to-do book. And the reason for that is, of course, you accumulate all those things that you said you would do, that, but you didn't do. I'm always flabbergasted at the size of a lot of my clients' to-do lists when they first start with me. I remember one of my first clients had a, such a large list. I think we counted 684 items on that list. Now, some of these were not things that she would do today. They were things that she wanted to do at some point in her life, but they stayed on that to-do list. There was five years worth of income tax returns that needed to be uh, managed, so she needed to get some papers from different places. Um, she had a huge list and I asked her, you know, how do you manage this list? She says, well, you know, if I have a f some free time, as I'm looking through the list, it takes so much time for me to look through that list that I get overwhelmed. I really get overwhelmed by the size of it. And it reminds me, I'm reminded constantly about everything that I failed to do. And it makes me feel really bad about myself. So instead of that massive to-do list, what I usually recommend and my clients do is manage their lists by projects. So that means each project that you have in your life becomes a has its own to-do list. Now, it's not a to-do list of everything that's going to be done in that project, although we probably could, but it's really the to-do list of, you know, what are the next steps for each of your projects? And really, that is a much better way of managing. What could I do in this project for the next week? What could I do in this project for the next week? And so on and so forth. It makes you more able to manage all of these things without feeling overwhelmed. The list that you end up with is much shorter than that 684 uh, item list or that big to-do book or those post-its that are flying all over the place. And it allows you to, uh, to manage uh, all the aspects of your life without feeling uh, like you're taking, you're losing control. So by managing project task lists, and pulling the tasks, the to-dos for each of those 
on a weekly basis, you are well on your way to uh, managing and taking control of your life so that you can live your full potential. This was Linda Walker, to your focus action, success.